hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames in this video we're gonna talk about yay giving bianca sensori his wife complete financial control now if you guys remember it was yesterday that we spoke about bianca getting power of attorney and for many people they were happy about it some people had questions if Ye was okay and based on a report that i'm seeing it is now bringing a lot of things to light and putting a lot into perspective so we're gonna talk about it in this video because i believe that i can identify why Ye would make such a decision and the direction that he's moving in now if you guys remember, when Ye was cancelled last year, a lot happened to his account. Adidas was able to go in and illegally freeze his bank account. Um, they are accusing him of misappropriately spending $100 million of marketing funds. Not only that, if you remember, Ice Cube also, also told us that they were still trying to take away his money. And I believe that E is no giving because there's a new report out that is saying that Bianca has total financial control. So I believe that there are other people who are still going after Ye's money. And what do you do with your money when someone is trying to take that money away from you? Think about it. Tasha K and Cardi B. Cardi B sued Tasha K. Cardi B won. Tasha, um, Cardi B had to go th th through hell to get a million dollars from Tasha K. Three million dollars remaining. Tasha K filed for bankruptcy. It was granted, right? But Cardi is now saying Tasha K moved her money to Africa which I believe and a lot of people believe. It's not going to be easy for you to file for bankruptcy and hide this money anywhere, right? Because that is yay. So what is the next best thing to do? And over his money to someone he trusts, of course, which is Bianca Sensori, which means that at no point in time, anyone can force pressure or illegally seize Ye's account. They would have to go through his wife, Bianca Sensori. And the reality is, whether we like it or not, with Bianca's family background, no one is going to want to mess with that girl that easily. Because R Bianca's dad, Leo, he's alive, you know. He's alive and well. And if you read about Leo, Leo is no damn pushover. So, no one is going to want to mess with Bianca because they know the story, but they know that to this story, they're still the unknown. They are the Capone of Australia, and they know a little bit about the story, but what about the ties that are still hidden to this family? So what Ye is making is a diplomatic move by protecting his money and his assets. So, do you guys remember when Ye married to Bianca? And I said to you guys, Australians are private people. Then I found out that Bianca had Italian background. And I said, Ye was very strategic in, in choosing this woman. Ye realized that Bianca is not gossipy. She's not into Hollywood. And I bet she despised some of the activities in Hollywood, right? Based on how Hollywood chews up people and spit them out and act as though they were never family. Because with Bianca's family, you're always family and they are tight-knit. Not like the Kai Jenner's who pretends to be tight-knit. I'm talking about real, legit tight-knit. As Ye um, started dating Bianca... 
Do you guys remember when I told you that when everyone was bailing on Ye, getting money, writing themselves their own checks, Bianca took over everything and started taking care of everything immediately. She started getting forensic accountant and everything because her dad too is also an accountant. Her dad manages money well. So Bianca knows how to manage money as well. And Bianca was the one who clamped down on a lot of people taking money from Ye. She was the one who discovered that millions of dollars were missing. And a lot of the people around Ye, they were not real. So if someone did all of that for you, right? Knowing that that individual could have taken that money but chose not to, but immediately came in, protect your money, protect your asset, you're gonna start looking at this woman differently right? Jason Lee also said in an interview that when he got canceled, he spent most of his times, time at Bianca's apartment because that is where he felt the safest. And Ye was genuinely threatened. He was genuinely scared for his life. Bianca's family provided Ye with protection. And the story, I believe that many people don't understand how Bianca and her family saved this man. So this man is going to forever be loyal to Bianca. This man has realized that this woman can be trusted. She's really good with books, sexy, beautiful, brains as well. And she is from a damn good family. So if people are after your money, if people are always treating you like a pushover, what do you do? You strengthen your ties, you form allies, and you ensure that you do that with the right set of people, a people, a group of people who are about code and honor. And that is what Bianca's family is about, code and honor. So with him giving Bianca power of attorney, and now we're learning that his finances are included, it is to protect his money. It's not because Ye is not okay mentally, Remember what Ice Cube said during that interview with Pierce Morgan. They're still going after Yee's money. People love that Yeezy money. People want that good Yeezy money because the reality is Ye is still a billionaire. And this is why you see these fake lawsuits that kept popping up. But the more information is put out there about his, wa his wife, her ties, her connection, who her family is, do you guys notice how we haven't heard anything about these lawsuits? No, we haven't. Many of them have been thrown out of court. Do you guys remember that we used to hear a lot about Ye's um, legal team before this one, Greenberg Tarig, and then we didn't hear anything about them after they cut ties with Ye because Ye just went away, Ye wasn't talking to them because they mishandled Ye's, Ye's divorce proceedings, allegedly. And Greenberg Tarig was called out after that for mishandling a lot of divorce cases. They were called out for their corruption on TikTok. And one of their partners resigned from the company because the company was in hot waters. But this legal team that Ye has, we're not hearing about this legal team in the media. Why is that? So with this woman, as time passes, Ye realizes that he can trust this woman. This woman can manage the burden of his business. And this woman has genuine concern, um, concerns for him. And she's genuine about his affairs, not just that. We have been reading for months that she wants what is best for him, including healthy co-parenting with Kim. So what better person to trust with your finances? So don't think that she's just there, she's just a pretty face, she's just around you for money. This woman cares about Ye. Ye realizes that he has to protect his money. So what better way of saying, you know what? I am not in any position to make any financial decisions for myself, I'm going to give her the power of attorney 
and then limit that power of attorney. So in case anyone comes along wanting to sue, wanting to get money, Ye is not in the dis um Ye is not Ye has declared himself as not being able to make financial decision, and Bianca's power is limited, so she is not able to legally pay you either. So what happens? They don't get any money. Bianca can only take care of easy business because he ensure that the power of attorney is limited and those decisions are coming from bianca's family if you guys remember that video that i did with bianca's grandfather when he was brought to court for murder he said that he wanted to be um sent home and then when the state law changed they couldn't have um, basically sent him back to prison because he argued his case in such a way that even if the law changed, it would have benefited him. So this um, power of attorney, it's a very strategic move to protect his money and his assets, which means that those money that those money hungry people can no longer come after his money can no longer threaten him do as they like to get his money from him and i have to say damn good move ye and bianca this is genius this is definitely top tier i want to hear from you guys i hope you guys understand this move is a diplomatic one just think about it or talk to anyone that you know who may know about these legal affairs and let us keep the discussion popping so give this video a big thumbs up and see you all later bye guys